today's my anniversary. And this is my first, <laughs> first anniversary without the love of my life. And this is really hard. <laughs> and for the last four months, I've been really strong. <laughs> And not because I'm trying to pull myself together. I just felt strong. I felt so protected with my heart. And as the days are going on and as the weeks are going by and as the months are going by, <laughs> with each event and each milestone and each excitement that my family has that goes through and Vaughn's not here, it's just a reminder that he's gone, you know? And that is just <laughs> so beyond heartbreaking. <laughs> And it hurts so bad. And I'm gonna allow myself to be hurt because this is a very sad thing and I'm not gonna bottle my emotions up. And if that is you, stop doing that. You cry whenever you need to cry. And when you're hurt, you allow yourself to release because those are big emotions and your anxiety and your stress will really come from you holding it in. So don't do that. This is something that is my reality, sadly. Is that the love of my life? Oh my gosh. It's so shocking. Like, it's so shocking. It's so scary. It's so scary. <laughs> like, that's my baby. I can't. I never. This is the worst pain in my life. <laughs> we were so, so in love. And this horrible horrible narrative that my husband tried to run away from me. What? The bad parts of my marriage was in 2019. So long ago. All the negative things that happened with me and my husband, we forgave each other and we moved on to make it seem like he would try to get away from me when people had no idea what my marriage was like before he attempted that was so hurtful so hurtful i want to share our story because it's the most beautiful love story that i know and i want to share how hard he fought up until the very end and i want to get straight to people who have lost a loved one, especially a spouse. I want to be a pillar of strength for people going through hard times, for people who have loved ones in the hospital who want to speak up but are too scared. I want my story to inspire others and make a positive difference if that's exactly what Vaughn would want to.